All right, YouTube. I'm at Rock Blocks headquarters. With my buddy John, I've got a 2016 RZR 1000 Turbo and the 2017 uh, Maverick X3 XRS. I thought that I'd just do a quick compare video of the two so people can kind of see the differences. Uh, first off, I do not dislike razors. I like razors. They're super nice machines. I think that the Can-Am is better, but it doesn't mean I don't like, don't like Polaris. So just get that out of the way. Um, you know how I said Polaris seats weren't, uh, were really shitty, bad seats? Uh, take it back. They make really good office chairs. Look at that. Everybody should have a RZR office chairs because they all pull out their seats because they're such pieces of crap. All right, so let's take a look at suspension. So here is a trailing arm and a shock on a 2016 Polaris. Just get an idea of like how the suspension looks. So I think the shocks are actually pretty high quality. But when it comes down to beefiness on this rear section and like the whole chassis and everything, I mean, look at, let's take a look. So you can see there the tube and how it all connects. And now let's go over, take a look at the rear suspension on this. Now right off the bat, you're seeing three arms instead of two arms. So that keeps the travel of the wheel going more straight up and down on the, on the long, uh, on, a, on a big jump. So you keep your camber and tow everything in a better place. But yeah, look at how much more, look at how beefy this piece is compared to the Polaris. Um, look at the, look at the size of the, this, all the tubing is, is larger and more boxed in. Um, but yeah, again, take a quick look at that. Look at that arm. Look at how crazy thick that is. And then look at the Polaris arm. I mean, it's not bad, but it's definitely not the same. Okay. Um, I'm glad that the can -Am went to the rear engine, though, um, which they pretty much copied from Polaris and it is a good design. Clearance. It's interesting, this, the Polaris actually has more clearance from the tire to the top of the fender than the, than the Can-Am does. Um, look at how much lower profile the Can-Am is, I mean, it's just way lower profile. It's definitely more, that's more like truckish, like desert truck, that's more like dune buggy-ish. Um, it's pretty sweet. Both of them have the extended, or the external reservoir bypass reservoirs. These ones are definitely bigger. So it's probably has to do with the long travel, but you've got more of a bypass, like a larger, a larger shock cylinder there. Definitely a little more utility um, back here. A better, a little better of a of a piece there. This doesn't have much. I guess you can still put a um, a case here. The shocks, man, they mount the shocks clear up here. It's clear up here by your by the head of the driver, which is pretty crazy. That's such a huge, it's a huge shock. But again, look at this, look at this bar. Look at the thickness of that bar to the thickness of this bar. Now that's a good solid bar too, but anyways, then we'll go. And then yeah, here's one of the things I really don't like. We've got a bolted, a bolted uh, cage, which is crap. Bolt. 
bolt. Over here, we've got a nice one piece, one piece welded tube. This is just a guard, this is all one piece too. So it's all connected. So did I tell you this last time? There, it's a one piece cage, right? It's yeah. It's being bolted together, yeah. like that one is. Yep. So if you, if you roll it, or if you want to do a different, um, a different cage on top, they made this part here, so you, you cut off the top part of the cage, you have to cut it off, but then they have this platform, you can bolt on the new one. Sweet, yeah. So they've made it so the guys that do the custom, the custom cages, it's 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 custom cage friendly. You can just cut this piece off and and do your own deal. All right, so his RGR 1000 Turbo. This is pretty cool. This SB SMB particle filter. It's pretty dope. It uh, it basically 90% of the sand and dirt that gets sucked in your intake, it separates and throws out here, so your intake doesn't get so uh, so dirty your filters last a lot longer and it just gets good fresh clean air so it's like a fan it's like a pumper system it's dope uh he says he loves it so just a little plug in there for sb smb filters it, i guess it's a sweet system so of course in the polaris you got to change the seats uh so this has prp racing buckets with prp four point harnesses um, makes a huge difference. We rode this with the stock seats and then we rode this with these PRPs. I still don't like the way the Polaris is mount. They don't give you a very good, they're okay, but I wish they mounted a little better. Um, OSHA's handle. Look at the, like, look at the steering wheel quality, you know, steering wheel. And look at this, like, it just, it's just cool, man. The gauges. Having the gauge cluster right in front of you, and then you've got a gauge cluster in the middle. I mean, I don't know. I definitely prefer this style. Something I just noticed too, I've got the back wheels lined up. Look how much longer the X3 is. It's gotta be a good foot longer than the RZR. So. Both of these rigs have all the rock blocks, flaps, and trailing arm guards on them, which are pretty sweet. Protect your nice, big, beautiful arms with these guards is pretty awesome. Yeah. So yeah, so we got the cage, ergonomics. Um, like I said, we've changed these seats, so they're pretty good actually now. They're sitting lower. And they're good, but I do like the seating position. Look at how kind of it's really low in the chassis and it's tilted back and it's a really comfortable, really good seat. You don't need to change your stock seats in this. Um, they're they're really good. Um, the stock doors are good. They don't they don't make a lot of noise. Um, one thing I hate about aftermarket doors is when you're going, you just get that all the time and it's annoying. All right, let's take a look at front suspension. And again, the suspension does work pretty good on this machine. I'm not, I'm not ripping on it. It's just, you need to see the difference in quality between the two, um, but it does work pretty good. So that's a front um, arm system for the suspension. Let's take a look at the front. Yeah, right away, I mean, Look at these, they're all boxed in. Heavy, heavy duty arms. I mean, those are, those are serious. <laughs> Look at the angle too. This has a lot more, a lot more angle for the travel than this one does. This one's at a different, definitely at a different angle. So, definitely got the front wheels, they're really open um, on this buggy, but you can see where it could just travel, have a ton of travel up there. Just put in that grill. Pretty sick. Check out the light bar. So just did this. He just made these custom brackets to put in this brand new freaking light bar. It looks awesome. Has a really cool profile with the machine. I like it a lot. It's it's freaking sick. This one's also got a bar. Which is cool. You want the small LEDs on this one. 
Look how much taller. Another thing to kind of look how much taller the Polaris is. It is a lot taller. This thing look. <laughs> this thing definitely. You got buggy and truck. But yeah, pretty freaking sick. We'll be going for a ride today. I'm not gonna be able to do the comparison video today. We're not taking the razor out today, but hopefully another time we will. So, anyway, so there's a quick kind of overview of the two and kind of the differences. The main thing I, I see is you've got a buggy style, more of a truck style. This one, again, I'm not knocking Polaris. I like Polaris, but it definitely seems more beefy. I mean, it seems better built than the Polaris. And I definitely like that it doesn't have a bolted, a bolted frame. Um, and just, yeah, the cluster, I like that it has an actual cluster with the wheel. Um, this one's set up good, actually. If you do do a razor, this is how to set it up. Um, it's got some STI wheels with some mongrels on there. Looks really nice. Let's get a back shot. Yeah, I mean, just the profile, they're so different. But yeah, obviously that's a long travel. That one's not, but both awesome machines. But those are the differences I see. I love that it came with the roof, with the mirror, and good seats. Cool. Well, that's it. Those are the main differences I see. Motors are both really good in both of them. Suspension's good in both of them. I think this one works a little better. That one's a little bit softer ride. Yeah. Cool. There you go. Uh, okay, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, I love to answer my comments. So if you have any questions about either the Razor or the Canon X3, let me know. And thanks for watching.